Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube. Hello golfers and welcome to the Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel here at the beautiful Deer Creek Golf Club. I love being here. I love helping you guys play better golf. Thank you so much for all your great con comments out there. I know it's been helping your game because I see it every day. So thank you again. So today what I want to talk to you about is the Kent to Culvey pitching motion that's going to get you crazy good at playing golf. So here's the thing. When I see golfers come to me, what they've been told over and over and over again is keep your head down. So what happens, first of all, that makes their wrist and arms do funky things in the backswing. They can't make a full pivot. What happens, their head's down, their arms are bending, their wrists are bending, and then they're trying to do something on the way through that's going to help them hit the ball, but usually it ends in failure, and that's why they come to see me. So the Kent to Culvey pitching motion can help your game, your golf game immensely. And anyone who knows Kent Takalvi, I was a big baseball fan. He was a sidearm pitcher with the Pittsburgh Pirates. And so this is what he looked like. When he, when he, when he was pitching the, the, the baseball, he was going to throw the ball, going to come in the sideways here, turn his arm through, throw that ball, and he finished all the way around like this. So what does that look like? It looks like a really good golf swing. So when you're pitching or throwing a ball sidearm or skipping a stone, what's happening is that as I'm throwing the ball back, I'm actually taking the ball, taking my right arm, my trail arm, since I'm a right-handed golfer, and I'm allowing this arm to swing back. So notice here is that my trail shoulder, my trail arm is going into external rotation and supination, but most people that swing a golf club will pull this club way inside, turn their shoulders too flat, and move their head way too far to the right and stay in flexion. That does not look like a pitching motion. So what I would say is I'm gonna take this ball, I'm gonna throw it down the fairway here, and as I go back, what happens now is I'm stepping, so my weight's on my left, I'm rotating, and I'm throwing this ball sidearm. So what happens? My elbow's leading, my wrist is trailing, and if I put my hand on there, that looks like a pretty darn good golf swing right there. And then from here, what happens is that naturally, my weight goes to my left leg, I'm extending, tilting, and turning my body, my hips are tucked, my head's up, I'm not trying to do all that other stuff that people tell you all the time. So let's do it, the Kent to Colby pitching motion. Here we go, like that. Look at that nice finish there. So that's something that I love to teach golfers and if you watch my social media channels you'll see that often with you know students of mine doing that motion because again what happens is as I go forward see I'm putting the weight on my left leg I'm rotating my body this right elbow is leading right wrist is back and you can see right here that's exactly the position that you'd want to be in back into the back of the ball, and then back around, okay? The great thing, I talk about positions, but it's not really positions. You've thrown a ball since you were a kid. Anybody could take a step and throw a ball sidearm. Believe me, you do that, videotape it, and you'll see a major difference. So again, so what I'm gonna feel here in my golf swing, as I go back, I'm still feeling that same motion with the right arm back, okay? Go to the top. And then I'm going to feel that sidearm throw. Look at where my hands are now. Back in the back of the ball. So I get in that right tilt. So you can see as I'm throwing from the under position here, a lot of people are going over this way. That's no good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit one there. Feel that throwing motion. And again, can't hit it any better than that. Really solid. The highest high draw. Okay, if you're a slicer, this is gonna help you, but it helps your game no matter what. I mean, this is like beyond helpful for any golfer, beginner golfer, people have been playing for a long time. If you're stuck in your game, throw some golf balls down the fairway or down the driving range and just create that motion. It's just, it's awesome.
Again, can't hit it any better than that. So again, that's all I'm feeling is just this throwing motion. I get to right here, and you can see here when I get to here, look at where my hands are, look at where my weight is. I'm in a really good position right here. My right arm's underneath my left. Boom, come down, finish really solid right there. So I would highly recommend it. The throwing motion, Kent to Culvey. If you're a baseball fan, you know who Kent was. Always one of my favorite. He wore those dark glasses with that Pittsburgh Pirates striped hat. It was pretty cool. So again, big fan. So here we go, feel that same motion. Again, can't hit it any more solid than that, a big high draw. So I'm gonna have you come down the, the line here. We'll shoot down the line so that way we can see what it looks like from behind. All right, golfers, here I am in the down the line version of this video. And again, using the Kent to Culvey sidearm pitching motion to get crazy good at golf in a simple way. So again, what that sidearm motion looks like from down the line is that as I take my arm back, really I'm feeling the weight into my right heel, moving my weight forward, rotating my body. And you can see here, naturally unweighting the back foot. Now you can see my arms are straight, my elbows are together. See the problem again with most golfers that they're, they're, they're taught to keep their head down. So when they're trying to keep their head down, that restricts their body, restricts the hips, restricts the knees. What happens is your arms start to bend, you lose distance, your wrists create the face. The face is opening here. The face is open. So when you come down, you're trying to close it, staying down, arms are bending. So all crazy stuff that you don't want in your golf swing. And it all can be solved by using the Kent to Culvey sidearm pitching motion. So again, I'm gonna throw this ball down the fairway. And you can see here, even in slow motion, you'll see how everything works. Stepping, putting my weight on my left leg, the arm coming from the side. So look at the tilts here. I got great tilts. My hips are turning, my shoulders are turning, right elbow's leading, right wrist is back. So if you look at that right there, everything you'd ever want in a golf swing. And then as I continue on, my hips extend, my chest extends. I'm not just staying down and throwing a ball. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and toss one down the fairway here. And you can see that and look where I end up. I mean, it's pretty awesome. So I'm gonna hit a few now using that sidearm motion. Again, really feeling that club come from the side. It shallows, it shallows the club too. Because as I'm coming from the side, my wrist is back. So many people lose that right wrist. They scoop. The path goes to the left. No good. Weight stays back. Path goes to the left. Weak butter knife shots, uh, slices, hitting it fat. So as I'm throwing from the side, I'm feeling that same motion. There's my impact position. Right arm underneath the left. You can see that weight on the left. Club face in a great position. I mean, that is like tour quality impact position and then all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and hit one. Feel that same thing. Oh man, can't hit it any better than that. Right out of the center of the club face. Look at the balance finish I have. I can stay right here all day long. Unweighted the back foot. You can see the back of the shoe. My extension. Again, pretty much effortless. So again, the Kent to Culvey sidearm pitching motion or skipping a stone makes the golf swing so much better. I highly recommend you try it and know it's gonna help and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for liking. Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate the comments. Please keep watching my videos. I have tons of content on my channel here. I know it's gonna help your game to help you play your best and that's what I love to do. I love helping you play your best and I'll see you soon. Join me on Airways for only $5 per month. You're gonna get a lot of step-by-step -step information to help you play your best golf. The link is in the description below. I'm adding new videos every month that you're gonna be able to see. You'll get those videos so you can work on your game and you can have it right on your phone. You log into the Airways platform and you're gonna play your best golf. So thank you again, I appreciate it.